Hello, so today we talk about testing with the framework Ginkgo Go, which I really prefer over the testing uh, built-in Go library. I'll show you why. Um, I won't cover mocks in this video, but I'll show you how to build simple a simple test suite and um, bonus, I'll show you how to build a table test with Ginkgo. So Gingo is um, a testing package. It helps you to frame your test and run them. The real asset for me is the expressiveness of the framework. So your tests are really pleasant to write and to read. Okay, so let's start by uh, creating a package that we're gonna call testing and then let's just create a um, Go file. Okay, so uh, let's just install uh, Ginkgo from the instruction. So the link is in the description. So the first one, you just go get uh, Ginkgo. And the second one is uh, Gomega, which is the matcha library. So the matcha library is just the assertion that we're gonna use uh, later on. So then you we can um, CD into that package and use Ginkgo bootstrap command and you can see that it has created a testing file for us. So that's a boilerplate. Nothing really fancy, we are just declaring um, the tests which will be run for that testing package. So we can run it. And you can see uh, how pretty it's formatting for you. So we don't have any tests at the moment. So zero passed, zero failed, zero pending and zero test skipped. Alright, so um, let's just uh, define a simple struct with a method. So we have person with uh, the property age as an int and we just declare um, an instance method is child um, which is um, taking no argument and returning a boolean. So let's just simply say if the age is uh, below 18 um, yes, it's a child, otherwise it's going to be false. So let's start with uh, our first test. So we start with a describe block. So we just add a description of this describe block. So we are going to test um, person is child instance method. So then the first argument is a text and the second one is a function. So we want uh, here just a slightly adjustment to make um, is child and age public and then here uh, we can uh, have a context um, block so same as described so first argument is um, a description string and then second one is a function block to execute your context block and then we have a it block so you see already how nicely it's framed if you're familiar with um, the BDD framework. So then our first uh, logical um, unit is just that uh, when the person is a child, it's supposed to return uh, true. So then for that, we just need a person with the age 10. And then um, we're just gonna store the response in a variable and then person does is child. And then that's where Go Gomega, the matcha library I was talking about, um, happens. So expect and then two. So it's pretty classic in terms of um, testing language. So you can see how simple and expressive is the this first context block. And we can run it. So you see it has run one spec and one passed. We can just uh, double check and change B true by B false, and you see how it can um, fail. So it's telling you which describe which context and then which it and the reason of the failure. So pretty straightforward. Just gonna put back B true, and then um, if we fully carry on, you can just have a directly a second context uh, block inside this um, this describe block and you can see uh, there that you can um, change that be false 
uh, so then you have two paths, zero failed, zero pending and zero skipped. Uh, there you have different um, matcher, different expectation matcher, so pretty classic. And then you can see all the different assertion match uh, that you can have. So I'm not gonna go through them one by one. I invite you to have a look to them, but it's pretty complete. Also, you can have um, um, before and after block. So the syntax is um, uh, before each, for instance. So within this context, it's gonna run uh, the, con the content of that function of before each uh, its statement. So we should see this log line uh, not a child. There you go. And um, the syntax is very similar for the after block. So you just do uh, after each, basically. You can also um, use after suite. Uh, which is gonna be run for in front of before all the tests basically. You can also skip a block by uh, putting a capital X in front of it. So here you can see that uh, this block was uh, skipped. You can also skip a context or a describe if you wish. And you have the opposite which is a capital F which is a focus. So then um, it means that the block before was uh, skipped and only this one was run. So now let's have a look to a uh, table test. So you just need to import this Ginkgo extension table and then it works as following. So it's not a describe block but a describe table block. So as usual you have your string description. So we're gonna um, table test the is child uh, method and then um, the second argument is a function it's um, I'll show you after and then the following arguments are um, entries so an entry is a description and then a set of parameters you can have as many parameters as you want so here we are just gonna have uh, two cases two entries so one where where the um, the age is um, below 18 and the second one um, uh, equal 18 and then we have the expectation true and false so then go back going back to the function so it's taking uh, it needs to match your parameters that you are sending in the entries so the first one is the age which is an int and the second one is the the response that you're expecting and then for each entry this function will be executed. So what we want here is for each entry, we want to build a person with age as the the variable age, the int, and then we can simply execute um, an expect statement on um, the person dot is child, and then making our um, expectation. And here we can use um, a matcher called uh, equal. So you can say equal is the um, expected response, basically. So you see how concise it is. And there you have four specs in total. So two uh, from the previous one and two from uh, the um, table test. So if we just um, ignore the two first contexts with a uh, capital X, should only have two specs. There you go, run two out of four. And then I can show you how it fails. So it's fail it's failing similarly to the previous cases. So there you go. So it's telling you that it was in the table test and which um, entry it failed. It was when is a child. And you can see the, the difference. So we saw the basics, but I invite you to read the documentation. It's really good documentation. So you can do much more like uh, running a test in uh, parallel. You can run specific tests wi with specific tags. You can do benchmark. You have several inter integration with a uh, JUnit or integration with other uh, mocking frameworks. 
and the CLI, the Ginkgo CLI is also pretty useful. Hope you enjoyed this introduction uh, with this amazing uh, testing framework and hope you learned a lot. So thanks for watching and happy coding.